what's up you guys welcome back to another tutorial today's video is gonna be consisting of uh, seven tools that I always use in Photoshop and I'm also gonna explain it to you what the tool does and why do I use it personally let's just not waste any time let's get right into it Alright, so the tool number one that I always use, probably the most important tool in Photoshop, is the layers tool. Um, when you are when you're editing anything in Photoshop, you always want to make sure you always make a new layer, and you using any you adding anything into that new layer uh, layers is your best friend when you are using Photoshop so uh, easy way to make a new layer is basically if you go to the right hand side which you have the layers panel go all the way at the bottom you will see and if you just hover over the and the page it'll say create a new layer just click on it the new layer is made so if I do anything on this so if quick paint whatever it's only affecting the new layers if I turn off the new the new layer it's gonna go away so that's why when you're trying to add a color add something to the photo you always make sure to make a new layer probably the most important tool in whole Photoshop tool number two I would say is pen tool personally I use a pen tool a lot uh, what pen tool basically does is you can basically precisely um, go around the edge of anything um, in a photo and then go ahead and mask it out or um, cut it out or, or anything like that and let's just say that for some odd reason I want to take out the star or like I want to precisely cut out the star and put it in a new layer what I want to do is basically hit P on the keyboard that will bring out the pen tool uh, or if you just go to the left and side of your uh, Photoshop uh, the tool under the text tool is a pen tool so click on it so for example I'm gonna make my first point right here so that's my first point and I'm also gonna go ahead and do fill none so there's no color in it and you can do the stroke to any color easier to see the line um, yeah so that's my first point and if I just go ahead and make a straight point click on it that's gonna make a line and then I can go ahead cut out the star or whatever um, so now if you see that there's a little bit curved at this edge so what you basically want to do is when you click on the next point you don't want to let go of the mouse if you just click on it keep holding the mouse the click and if you just move your mouse you'll see two points coming out of that middle point with this you can precisely make curves around the edges or anything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and just just curve the line a little bit and then while holding option you wanna you'll see a small arrow right next to the pen tool so click on it in the middle so the next point you'll make is gonna start from that point uh, where you left it off And when you're ready to end it, you want to go ahead and click on the point where you started from. Now with this, you'll see that when you do a, with the pen tool, it automatically creates a new layer. So you don't have to worry about doing that selection or anything like on the original photo. From here, if I want to take out just the star, what you want to do is basically a right click, make selection zero as the feather radius it's gonna go ahead and select that point so what you're gonna do is basically if I want to cut out just the star from the photo I'm gonna go ahead and go to my layers panel click on the car image and I'm gonna do it and hit command J what command J basically did is it basically had just those points or just the pen tool selection that I made and it basically cut out into a new layer so if I hide my original layer you'll see just the star is showing 
so this way if you want to just add it just to one part of the image you can go ahead and do that so for the tool number third that I always use is masking um, use it but uh, I'm gonna show you guys what he does and uh, why sh you should use it in some cases um, so if you just have the image selected if you just go down where you created the new layer and if you hover two tools over you'll see it says add layer mask if you just click on it it's gonna add a layer mask to the image we go ahead and command delete which basically filled the uh, layer with the with the black color so if I go ahead and hit B on the keyboard it's gonna bring up the brush tool as you can see on the left hand side in the color I have the top layer as the white so if I brush anything on the layer it's gonna reveal just where I'm painting so anywhere this white color is just gonna um, paint just that layer and then if I go ahead and hit X on the keyboard it's gonna switch the color from white to black so now I have black selected if I do the same thing it's gonna hide tool number four that I'll use is the cloning tool um, if you're trying to take out any uh, trees any people in your photo or anything like that but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to use it and where to get the tool from so I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard if you hold down option now you'll see a target and I'm just trying to take this pull out from the image hold down option click on it hover over onto the pole and I just start cloning it you'll see the pole is slowly disappearing because it's taking that pixel from the left hand side of the photo and just basically pasting them on top of that uh, right hand side where I'm actually painting tool number five is the patch tool as patch tool is basically similar to um, clone stamp tool but it's, it does a little bit better job of uh, matching the colors I mean, so if you just hit J on your keyboard or if you just go to the left hand side on the toolbar hover over the patch tool and from here what you want to do is basically so let's say that if I'm trying trying to take out this tree so I'm gonna go ahead and while holding down the mouse I'm gonna go ahead and mat, just go around this tree and just end it where it started from if I just click on it and drag the selection as you can see it's disappeared from here if you just let go of the click Photoshop is gonna do its best to match the colors right above the sky to kind of do its best job at some point it doesn't do its best job because there's a little bit more information right here so that's why you'll see the color are not really matching up that's where you can use the uh, the tool again or you can use the uh, stamp uh, clone stamp tool uh, as both works really good depends on uh, depends on the situation tool number six um, is the blur tool it's basically found in the if you go to filter if you go to blur there's all of these different blur tools so I use so let's just say that I make a new layer go ahead and select the elliptical tool on the left hand side go ahead and make a circle and I'm gonna go ahead and just fill it with uh, let's see I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with the white color as you can see it's, it's filled with white color go to filter blur Gaussian blur this is gonna this is where you can add a red color and move it on the back of the car to give it effect of the rear lights being on and on the ground or whatever so from here you can select how much radius so the more higher in the radius you go the more spread out more apart tool number seven and the last tool in this tutorial um, is the blending tool that I use I'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer car color is kind of dark bluish color and let's say that it's a little bit too dark for me if I want to lighten it lighten it up I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the brush tool I'm gonna go ahead and hold down option select the paint 
it's gonna go ahead and bring the paint into the background layer you want to go ahead and hit X on your keyboard it's gonna bring that blue paint into the foreground and paint just the car having the layer selected if you just hover where it says normal those are your blending modes from here as you can see the color blue that I just painted with the brush is a little bit too harsh so if I go down to colors as you can see that if, if I do colors it's basically applying that blue paint brush color on top of that layer so if I turn off the layer as you can see it makes a really big difference so if you have if you are shooting if you're shooting the car and the color of the car is really hard to get in the photograph this is where you can go ahead and use Photoshop paint the color and then go ahead and try to blend it these are all my seven tools that I always use in Photoshop hopefully this will this has helped you a little bit better um, and hopefully you guys uh, do love what I'm putting out. Yeah, so catch you guys on the next one If you guys have any questions, just hit me up on my Instagram page or write them in the comments below Catch you guys on the next one. See ya